In studio will be our guest. Of course, uh, I'm being told that uh, right there you have it. The question was there on your screen. Of course, we'll be expecting to read some of your feedback uh, when we uh, move on towards the end of this news bulletin. Time now for our guest segment. And joining us on set tonight is the CEO of uh, the Rwanda Clothing Home. Thank you very much for joining us on set. Thank you very much. Now, very quickly, we understand that tomorrow you are organizing a fashion show. And of course, uh, you will be highlighting some of the uh, best, uh, you know, uh, talent that we have in fashion. Mm -hmm. But very quickly, before you, you you get into the details of that event of tomorrow, mm -hmm. what is the state of the fashion industry in Rwanda today? Oh, actually, for me, I always say that the state is not as bad as people think mm -hmm. because uh, we still we have now our uh, like new talent coming up mm -hmm. and uh, as you see that Rwanda Closing is trying to push and uh, to show people in Rwanda what is exactly fashion mm -hmm. so I'm, uh, I'm not hopeless I think uh, the state is quiet and a good level mm -hmm. because even on to our opinion question today we were asking because we've seen uh, some people uh, whom we've interviewed on different platforms or arenas saying that there is there hasn't been much support from government or from you know uh, other players from the private sector federation or other players in, in, in this sector. Do you agree with this? Um, I don't agree with that 100%. I think uh, there, is, um, there is different support we mm -hmm. get from the government. It, it doesn't have to be money, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the support of, of, of talking about that the, the, the talent are there mm -hmm. and uh, there is a lot of competition happening outside mm -hmm. and uh, there is this kind of uh, art competition, exhibition. Mm -hmm. All of this, we, 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 we have them because uh, the government is there and uh, is always trying to speak uh, about uh, what is uh, what is uh, in the country as talent. Mm. So I think we have a support in the in times of uh, skills. We have support in times of. Uh, when you say skills, what, what do you really mean? Is the government training young talent? We, ha we, we have a lot of trainings. Yeah. Uh, actually, in the fashion business, it's not a lot because we still need to, to push it, to push it. But um, in different kind of uh, sector, if I said in paintings, if I say in uh, uh, in art, also different kind of art, uh, what you see, Agaseke, they, they've done a lot of promo promotion for that. So I don't think it's, uh, it's 100% that they don't support. They support, but they need need also us to show that we are not uh, we are not um, dependent we are not really depending on them mm -hmm. so we make the first step mm -hmm. and they make the second oh. so I think uh, by opening already the doors we could be happy that we are able as me as a as designer that we are able now to showcase uh, fashion mm -hmm. in Rwanda mm -hmm. so they already opened the door anyone can make fashion in Rwanda anyone can prove how good he is. Maybe, maybe the kind industry. of support uh, that probably some people would be expecting is to have the way we have uh, tax exemption mm -hmm. on certain sectors, those who are importing certain issues mm -hmm. or, or stuff, mm -hmm. maybe in the ICT sector. Mm -hmm. Probably people in the entertainment industry would also want to have such you know, privileges that when they are importing their materials, uh, they should have tax exemption. This is the kind of support I'm I, talking I about. I think you're right. On that, on that level, we have... Uh, uh, we have a big problem in the, in the tax. We have uh, like, if you want to bring like material we use, because here we don't have cotton, we don't have yes. linen, we don't have, we bring everything from outside. Or if you want to make clothes, you have to have the material, you have to have uh, uh, all the tools you need to create clothes. So um, actually it's still on the really, really high uh, uh, taxes so that some people are really afraid to start. To start so I think this is a big issue. We've been talking about it with Minicom. Mm. They're trying hard to to see what they can do to support our mm -hmm. business. Yeah. L let's move out a bit and, and, and switch gears a bit. And, and I'm going to ask you this rather peculiar question. Is the fashion industry a racist kind of business? Because the reason why I'm asking you this kind of question <laughs> is, is, is we're looking at the fact that today it may even be not possible or very hard for a black uh, model 
to be able to participate or to be on the runaway of some European countries like France and Italy. What, what is your comment on that? Actually, it's, uh, it's true, but uh, it, now we are 2013, I can see the change. It's not like uh, 25 years ago. You couldn't see, you could hardly see one, even one model. Yeah, and, uh, but now we, we've seen some changes. We've seen Naomi Campbell, we've seen uh, a lot of black, beautiful model, and uh, we've seen them on Runaway, and we've seen them also on a big cover as Vogue or other big covers, uh, magazine, um, fashion magazine. Mm. So I think the, the improvement are there. We still have uh, to improve and uh, but I can't say that it's completely like there is no black because I buy I buy a newspaper and I see that they they are trying. You can see maybe 50 runway uh, in in you in Europe. Maybe you can see maybe 20. 20 uh, out 20, of 50. Yeah, 20, are blacks. 20 blacks women showing. Uh, All right. Yeah. Now probably by finishing off this interview today, could you tell us just very briefly about uh, tomorrow's uh, uh, event? Okay, tomorrow we're going to have uh, a big show. We're gonna we're going to showcase uh, 40 outfits, and it's it's not gonna be only women. It's gonna be men and, and women. I'm I'm having. Uh, Can I participate? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> what do people need to do? Probably yeah. Very briefly. Um, actually, it's a free show. Mm -hmm. You just need an invitation and uh, and be there on time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's gonna be uh, a show, and this show we we're going to show what we are able to to produce in Rwanda. Do you, do you only show here? I mean, where else do you showcase some of the things? The that last you uh, the last uh, do you two also months. Yes, yes. Actually, I'm just the creative mind, so I just design, okay. and I have uh, a team behind me which okay. are producing. But um, the last months in May, uh, two two months in May, I showcase uh, some of my design in Germany. Germany, okay. which was a huge uh, success. Okay. So I think Rwanda is ready now to see, uh, you know, creativity coming right. out. Yeah. Thank you very much Thanks. for your time. Thank, Thank you. you indeed. Thank you very much. That was Jocelyn Umutoni Wase. Is that how you say? Umutoni Wase. Yeah. Umutoni Wase. Yeah. <laughs> I used to think it was Wase and Umutoni. <laughs> no, it's Umutoni Wase. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Now uh, we take a short breather right about now. And of course, when we come back, his words you'll be watching.